Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do some goal setting for the fourth quarter in October. In, I know in my uh, power sheets, um, I got the Cultivate What Matters 2021 power sheets. I am going to get the 2022 power sheets. Um, I haven't ordered it yet. I'm going to wait until November uh, after I'm debt free and um, I have the money <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I drew a blank y'all. I drew a blank. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope y'all are having a super fantastic day. Um, yeah, so let's review September. Whew. Uh, people I'm grateful for and why. Uh, friends, old and new. And sometimes I just need somebody to listen. So that's my why. Sometimes I just need somebody to listen to me. Um, I think this week um, I've almost had a panic attack every single day. Did I say a panic attack or a panic attack? I don't know what I just said, but a panic attack like every single day. And luckily, you know, I breathe through and I got myself through that. But, it, you know, it helped talking to somebody. Um, goals that are growing well my finances and grow my community you know we reached uh 3,000 subscribers and that's super super fantastic um yeah youtube is is, is challenging <laughs> um i'm choosing grace over guilt about the weight loss um i have not been as active i'm not gaining any weight i lost a pound and everything just stays stagnant but that's because i'm not actually moving like i need to i am one of those people where i have to to work out I have to work out and I'm not even doing the bare minimum so yeah and that's where the guilt might be coming in um, now good things this month reconnected with an old friend what I read or listened to actually more listening um, on Amazon Prime they had I think several seasons of Endeavor and DCI Banks now if you don't know anything about me here's something new I like like British police dramas, you know, like NY PD Blue and Law and Order and all those for US. I like the British type shows. They have good stuff. <laughs> and who we they be killing people. Ways I wouldn't ever thought about. But you know, I guess I don't even taking notes on that. But anyway, I shouldn't even say all that. Favorite memories from the month. I met my son's girlfriend y'all and I didn't act a complete fool I did need some sleep and I probably should have I wish I could have got some rest but I was cooking of course burn my hand um, but it is what it is I opened an Etsy shop and I also bridged a communication gap between me and that friend I was able to listen to them they were able to listen to me um, because that was a problem in the beginning was that they were I, I felt they were always able to express how they felt and they were never willing to listen to how I felt. So there was my intentions and then their interpretation of what my intentions were. And I'm like, if you're going to interpret it, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> but, you know, that's not a good way to touch somebody. And it's neither here nor there, but, you know, that is part of that. I am saying no to excessive working. I got to cut that crap out. And I am saying yes to focusing on myself. Now, the quarterly goals, third quarter goals. I did have some goals in mind. I didn't meet a bunch of them. If you see me looking down, I'm sorry. I'm trying to turn to that page in my planner. And I'm trying to make sure I look in the lens and not up at the, is it the viewfinder? I think that's what it's called. Uh, these words. So, you know, I had a goal for finance um, of paying 10K for that quarter. And guess what, y'all? I actually paid 16K in quarter three. So, yay. Um, but the boo part, lose 18 pounds. I, I ain't even going to go back and do the math. <laughs> um, the reading, I didn't really do. The topic makes videos. Time got away from me. I ain't do those but i'm on it now um post more ig i actually did well there um i actually posted and i actually kept it up with quite a bit of frequency i think i need to find things that um to share that i can do really quickly and post it on ig that's part of the problem is a lot of times i'm working i don't have time to actually even do anything that is of interest to me to post so it's kind of like work 
cook, eat, shower, sleep. You know, and I'm doing that rotation and it's not good for me. So, um, I'm hoping with the fall I can get out um, and, and, and do some things. Go to the park, something like that. Uh, declutter, declutter downstairs. Boo, I ain't doing none of that because I plan on packing everything up. I guess that's decluttering in reverse. No, that's decluttering because I'm going to put everything in a box. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making up stuff right now. Um, for my training for work, uh, I did take three hours of Agile training. And I wanted to do 10. I did three. I haven't had a chance to do my training and stuff like that. I do have a one-on-one -on -one tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, which is your today. Um, but I'm going to talk to my manager about that because I just kind of feel like <sighs> folks need to put on a big boy, big girl underpants and get to work. So moving on to the quarterly refresh for the fourth quarter. Can you believe it? Y'all, it's the last quarter of the year. Are y'all ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm excited for a cooler weather. Y'all know I've been having the air conditioner chronicles for like, what, two months. I'm just tired of it. I just don't want to have to need it. But the thing is that thing regulates the heat too. So it, it better work. Um, but we're getting a new management company. So hopefully we'll get a better performing group of people working for the community, right? Um, for my life evaluation check-in. I'm going to focus on the areas that I didn't rate myself the highest because a lot of my areas, like my focal relationship, um, my friends, family, uh, my finances, work, they're all going well. They're all doing well in those areas. You guys know that when it comes to like my sons, I am not shortchanging them for anything, anybody. Um, they say, mama, we want to do or is it okay my friend coming by uh the answer is yes and i actually got to meet his girl my youngest son's girlfriend mom and her i think it's her stepdad so i got to meet them so yay um that was great um but i rated myself low on health spiritual and personal growth and recreation um health I need to exercise more I need to rest I need to focus on myself and and be able to do some things for me I need to make myself a priority and I have not been doing that um, spiritual I haven't done anything like just like to meditate and to relax and I let things go and let it wash over me so I think I have all this stuff that is making me really really tense and recreation I need to get that crap out of this apartment because I've been in here for too long <laughs> and um the prep work refresh uh one of the things is people i'm grateful for right now and that's my friends my family uh my youtube and ig community and i hate to like take my youtube and ig community out of my friends because when i say my friends i include you guys too in that and so but i wanted to pull it out so that way you guys actually understood that i appreciate y'all because a lot of you guys you know like you're you're following my journey and then some of you you know some of you are like you're motivate me but i'm actually motivated by you um because we're all trying we all have our strengths and our weaknesses and we're helping one another and that's what counts you know that's what community is all about uh keep moving forward Hoo this is where we're going to talk about where i'm stuck <laughs> we all know where i'm stuck the weight loss i'm not doing what i thought i was going to be doing i know i'm getting older and stuff and i probably need to factor in hormonal changes and stuff like that and i know i'm not um doing that mentally i'm not processing that but i need to what is holding you back from moving forward so i just said prioritizing myself and no time for me and literally some days there in that whole day there's no time for me um this week showed it it was kind of like my life was two trains right on the same track and this week i kept feeling that like they were going to crash and something was going to go bad and that feeling of overwhelm wellness in my heart you know like just beating a million miles like it's gonna come out of my chest you know like I'm going through all those emotions and I don't want to do that anymore and I need to set aside some time for myself what would you have to change for you to move forward on this goal I have to balance my schedule I have to say no 
I have to take some time off and I'm not talking about like one day because normally I just take off on a Friday um, I have to take off like a week or so and just reset I need one week to reset and I need um, definite end times to my work day like I don't care how that phone gets to chiming and carrying on because people are messaging me in teams I do not need to answer that crap um, and I guess I shouldn't have caught a crap because it is my work, it's my job. I love what I do, but sometimes I don't love the, I'm never off and the neediness of some people because you help them once, you just caught up in this little loop and it's like, oh my God, I can't do this forever. Um, what might happen if you did move forward? What might happen if you didn't? If I move forward, what, prioritizing myself, exercising, I'm eating better. Um... I would lose the weight most definitely and I would actually have more energy I don't have the energy and I don't want to have to come on here and tell you guys at the end of October going into November that I'm tired I don't want to say that no more um, if I don't do it I'm gonna have that panic attack and I don't want to need medication I've had to take medication for it in the past I don't want to do that now I want to manage it by managing my stress and like I said I have that one-on-one -on -one and we are gonna be talking about it <laughs> I promise not to be talking to him like I have Tourette's or yelling at him or anything like that he might get a little bit of the smoke because I feel like sometimes the people who are coming to me are because he does it and he tells them to and he doesn't understand you're opening up this lid which to them is a green light to constantly just bombard me with questions and even finding old emails it's like oh my god I'm not a secretary but anywho quarterly four <laughs> my mini goals um for the finances it's going to be paid four thousand eight hundred and ten dollars to my debt and so you know I am trying to be debt free I want to get that done before my birthday which is November 27th I guess that's why I like this time of the year right um my action steps to achieve that goal I want to save my cash envelopes save my utilities meal plan oh my god I can't spell reduce impulse buys from uh in the grocery store I wrote story is store <laughs> But I, I, I want to get back to reducing that. Um, I'm not as bad, but I always try to anticipate. I think the boys might like this. And I'll grab that one item. And that'll be the item that actually pushes me over my grocery budget. Because I'm a mess when I get close to the cash register. So the mini goal for the weight loss is going to be to lose 10 pounds. I want to join Omada. I got like a postcard in the mail about that. It's connected to my... Um, my benefits program and um, they have some perks to join in that and it'll be free um, complete the assessments and education and training that's included in Omada um, keep increasing my water consumption I've been doing really good with that exercise regularly and I want to read a couple of books on um, for personal growth I want to read the four agreements I've been wanting to finish that I feel like I may have read it, but I'm not quite sure. I also want to finish uh, Mindset by Carol Dweck. I'm not sure if I finished that one either, but I'll figure that out once I open it up. I got both of those uh, hard copies for those two. Um, for my YouTubes, I got to create two videos um, in this fourth quarter. And so my action steps for those two is I'm going to outline my ideas. And if I have to record in segments, meaning that like maybe on my lunch break, I record 10 minutes and then after work, do the rest, you know, find some other way of trying to achieve that. So that way I can get that type of video done, um, quickly. Cause those videos aren't quick for me to record. Um, cause I don't have a lot of practice in doing them. Um, post weekly to IG and that's part of growing my community um, the action steps they, these are mostly like posts I want to make um, like a motivation post my goals and the re recap of the month also my debt update post um, and I guess like once I'm debt free I'll be posting like about my savings too um, yeah 
on that and then I, I have also found other things that interest me that I wish to share so I need to get out of the house and do some things that actually interest me <laughs> um, I want to the last goal I have because I crossed out the make apartment a home for Q um, the fourth quarter because I'm not gonna worry about that because I think like probably close to December or in December I will start getting boxes and stuff like um, so we can start packing up and start looking out for the places because by that point I'm going to be saving up a movie fund and stuff like that so I'm not going to put too much um, emphasis on trying to hang up my pictures and do stuff because I have stuff it's just in boxes and so I'm not going to finish that I'm actually going to go and put things back in the boxes that they came out of um, if I still have those boxes because I threw a bunch away but I'm being redundant um, I'm going for work I need to complete 12 hours of training um, I need to find like one technical class in plural site and I need to find something that will join my training needs at work my training for my PMI recertification so that way I can get credit on both planes and uh, complete a couple of classes from the lifting um, that's something that my department actually paid for so I need to actually be able to take some time to use that and it may mean I have to take one class one or two classes like on a Saturday or a Sunday um, because it's not like it's graded or, or, or anything like that but at least use the program and and use the knowledge that i'll get from there um i did do my content um right here so hopefully y'all can see that um but i got everything labeled out um the pink or red dots like i went all christmas <laughs> i don't even know why but everything that's in the red that's uh youtube and the green is ig is ig blue i don't know um, but that's the IG post that I want to be able to make. The YouTubes are mandatory. That's all mandatory. So, um, I have that already laid out. So that should make my life a lot easier. Cause what I do is this planner stays open on my desk. I take it off when, of course, I'm recording and stuff, but this always comes back. It's always open. So like when I get up in the morning and I don't know what planet I'm on, which is pretty typical when I wake up, I walk over and it's like, okay, what's up today? Do I need to record anything? And I check on here and see if I got anything that needs to be done. If I don't have a um, X on that video, um, I know I need to, when I stop working, sit down and record that. Hope y'all didn't hear that loud bump from next door. Um, and now my attending list. So my goals for October. <sighs> I don't know. We're going to start with the encouraging words. Because this is the attending list and the encouraging words. So we're going to start from the top. <laughs> y'all know I like to start from the middle. Um, kindness is more powerful than compulsion. One of the things I want to remind myself this month is to be kind to myself. And so if you need to hear that, it's okay for us to be kind to ourselves, you know. Um, sometimes we're kinder to others than we are to ourselves. So the priority this month is going to be me. And um, my monthly goals. So I want to pay $3,400 to my debt. I want to finish sanding my table. You guys, I am so close to being done finishing that dining room table. I have to finish... Um, Part of the curve you know because my sons they flipped it over for me so that that little curve you know you got the tabletop I don't know what that little piece is underneath there but I got to sand that piece of wood and then um, and I'm halfway there and two legs because two of the legs I've already sanded, it so I got uh, two legs and then after that it's just priming and then painting it um, espresso so it's actually going to be darker but that's the color the boys want um, and then I'm going to redo the chairs and get you know put more cushion in them and find a different pattern for them um, so it's gonna get a whole new update gonna get a facelift I should have took pictures before um, I want to finish I'm gonna start and finish the four agreements so if I started the four agreements I'm gonna finish it but I don't know if I did start it I don't I don't have a clue my memory y'all is gone and I plan on losing three pounds this month so I'm gonna drop it back and um, get acclimated to the omada program and see what's going on there uh the weekly action items um i need to do the weekly assignments 
from that'll be assigned to me through Omada. I did get accepted into the program, so I will be assigned to a small group. And so I have to participate in group discussions. I think I have to log in every day and I have to meet with a coach. So that's the next weekly um, action item is to meet with the coach. I think talking to somebody, know somebody is actually really, really checking on me, um, will help when I'm sliding. Because one of the things I noticed that when I did read my email and I was reading um, about like the motivational part a lot of the things it was talking about was stuff i had experienced and i haven't been able to regroup and i've been feeling that way for years so it'd be nice to kind of talk to somebody about those things um because one was oh you had some exercise thing that you really really enjoyed and then all of a sudden you got injured and you can't really do that anymore and so that's where i am with that because the one thing i know that helped me drop this weight is to go running <laughs> I probably kill my ankles now, but they, that's not even here nor there. But um, but that the problem is my knee. One of my knees is not the best. But there may be some way I can do walking, but walking just takes so long, and I have no patience for that. But anyway, I just had a full-on meltdown and just hit my eyeglass case. Um, meal plan. I need to continue to meal plan. I know I owe y'all that video. I know. So y'all, I know. Y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get it. I swear. It's it's coming up. Um, if I can't get to it in October, it's probably gonna be November when we do the meal plan. I have another video scheduled for October that I promise to. Um, and also I'm gonna weigh in. They're actually sending me a scale. I think I said that they're shipping me a scale. If I didn't say they were shipping me a scale, I know they're shipping me a scale. Um, it's a digital one, wireless something. It, it has some 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 newfangled stuff. So I'm gonna get that, and um, I'll be installing their app and going through their thing. And it's all free, y'all, because I was gonna pay for Weight Watchers, but why? <laughs> Um, daily action items, of course, log my food. I am the absolute worst. Participate on the platform, drink 64 ounces of water, um, exercise. I put that on there twice um, because I need to do cardio and strength training, so I need to balance both of them. Even if I do like 20 minutes of cardio and 10 minutes of strength training, at least get them both in. I hate strength training, y'all. I hate it, but I need to do them both because... I got a sculpt, you know, I got a sculpt. <laughs> but also, I'm going to schedule in some meditation. I didn't write that in in the video that you guys are going to see. That's going to be over here. But um, I need to do some meditation. I do need to take like five minutes to start saying either wind down my day by just sitting quiet and being still and being in the moment. Um, or I need to do it early in the morning. I think early in the morning I'm going to switch that to being the time that... Because I wake up, y'all. I get up like 4 something in the morning, okay? I can get up and go work out. I be laying in the bed. <laughs> trying to fall back asleep. You know, trying to get that last 10 minutes of sleep. But that is all my goals. That is the fourth quarter in a nutshell. I am planning my vacation um, for... 2022 I think it's going to be in late January early February I know that's not the time to be traveling but I am going to be going to visit uh, a friend in North Carolina so I'm going to be headed there and um, I don't have to pay for a hotel so that means I'm upgrading my air travel um, um, but yeah I'm going to like go and visit and that's if I don't piss anybody off between now and then I guess I shouldn't be saying piss on YouTube but I said it <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> but anyway but yeah I'm gonna go visit them so that's part of the plan and then at some point I think I'm gonna head over to um, hot springs will be the next thing I want to do because uh, they have spas and stuff and then that should put me like dead smack into the springtime because you guys I still have all of my vacation time I have 17 days of vacation time I have my personal days and my floating holidays and then in October also from the 1st to the 15th I'm on call again so I'm going to get about four days of PTO for that too so that PTO is probably what I'll use um, either in November or December to just take off and just take some time to just reset. Um, 
and I probably will schedule some vacation around the holidays so I can kind of get some extended weekends and then use up some vacation time in um, 2022 so yeah but yeah but in that whole time because I'm back on call in January I'll get four more days there so you see how it's like I can't use my other days fast enough before I accumulate the other ones and when I'm on call I can't go on vacation so yeah that's the whole thing there but let me know what your goals are have you already done your goal planning for the fourth quarter um, if you feel like sharing one of your fourth quarter goals please feel free to do so. You don't have to confine yourself to finances um, because I don't talk about everything, <laughs> everything under the sun. Um, it could be anything and you never know, your goal may trigger something in somebody else that have been trying to think of an area that they need to improve or they already know the area but they need a tip on what to work on and something so it may be motivating to them but uh share with us or if you can share your october goal because yeah i want to put this 3400 to dead i don't even know how i'm gonna get there but i'll figure it out right <laughs> because the way that thing is blowing right now we already know my air conditioner uh, my utility bill is going to be high but thank y'all so much for watching i will talk to you guys again on saturday when i do my week four check-in and close out for my cash envelopes for September and on Sunday we're going to be doing my cash envelope stuffing so y'all have a great one bye